They're the special pets helping change lives for the better. They may be man's best friend, but for these frontline workers, they're much more than that. So how much does this big guy mean to you? Oh, absolutely everything. He's, yeah, been fantastic. Luke and his dog share a special bond. Prince is more than just a best friend, he's a lifesaver. Well, at the time I got him, I was in a very dark space and he's literally saved my life on a couple of occasions just by having him there. Spending eight years as a military combat engineer and deployed three times to Afghanistan, Luke Adamson knows a lot about the fragility of life. We had a um, suicide bomber attack our base. Um, which actually ended up exploding about eight fuel trucks waiting to get in. So I actually um, collapsed um, and I was pulseless for two and a half minutes and evacuated. Stress and anxiety took its toll. What kind of man did you return to Australia as? Broken. Broken. You're so proud of being an Australian soldier serving and then having that taken away from you to nothingness is, yeah, that's, that was probably my lowest point, losing my career, my identity and um, my future really. Luke says he masked his post-traumatic stress disorder with alcohol and prescription medication. But that all changed when Prince came into his life as part of Operation Canine for veterans. Oh, he saved my life in simple terms. He's just my, my best friend, my companion. He's, he's with me everywhere and yeah, he just gives you that unconditional love that you, you really want in an animal. This golden retriever cross Labrador is trained to seek out signs of stress. I see he's got his paw on you, is that yeah, something he usually so, does? Yeah, so he usually does it. Like, it's more of an, an attention thing and just a, a checking thing that he's, he's mine and I'm his, so he doesn't want me to let him go anywhere. Dogs like Prince help veterans with everyday life. And whether it be with an everyday task such as picking something up as a remote or um, breaking up their bad habits or their indicators, as they call them, and then obviously wake a veteran up when they're having those nightmares or night terrors from their service. I find um, lots of jobs quite difficult at times and sometimes it is hard to switch off. So when I get home, I see Ted, my dog, and he just makes things so much better. Oh, hey, Ted. Paramedics are front and centre at life or death situations. To battle these job stresses, Ambulance Victoria has implemented a peer support dog program. Tara Ralph is a big part of it with her pup Teddy. Look at that! Hey! This paramedic says a lot has changed since her dad started 30 years ago in the same job. Initially it was kind of a, a men's club where you weren't talking about mental health or post-traumatic stress disorder and everyone was reluctant to acknowledge their mental health issues and there was a lot of stigmatisation back in the day. There are now 12 dogs who visit staff in need around Victoria. So when we bring him there, you know, they might say, oh, this has made my day a lot better. And that opens up that line for me to ask, well, why has your day been bad? How are you? No, you stay CEO there. Tony stay Walker. There. I've been amazed what a difference it's made. So there were some sceptics when you're putting peer dogs into an ambulance service that it would make a difference. But um, our staff have just got right behind it. Um, I've had paramedics come to me and say, a really difficult day. Um, I can have the dog there. I can pat the dog. I feel a bit more relaxed. He's on a diet, I swear. Having a dog come around, it just kind of takes you out of reality for, you know, five, ten minutes. Always been patriot, always wanted to have a, a need to serve. Um, did, did my time in the army and um, um, thought, you know, I still want to serve the community, want to make a difference. Rob Atkins is a former sergeant with Victoria Police. After serving 24 years, a series of traumatic events caught up with him and he developed post-traumatic stress disorder. It chips away at you. It is, it is a contact sport and it's a violent um, kind of life, basically. There's a lot of things that people don't see that goes on in the community that um, police, fire and ambulance and triple R operators we, we face and listen to literally every day by lunchtime, basically. Since Jimmy has become part of his family through the help of Assistance Dogs Australia, Rob's no longer facing flashbacks and anxiety alone. My knees start to shake and my hands start to shake and little things like that that Jimmy picks up on. And um, as I'm starting to wind up at the subtle stages, Jimmy will pick up on those and he'll come over and he'll physically intervene. Um, he'll put a paw up on my knee, he'll put his head on my knee. 
takes two years to train and costs more than $40,000 to provide a qualified assistance dog like Jimmy. They're free for those in need, supporting people with a physical disability, autism or post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm pretty attached to him because uh, I wouldn't be here without him. Ambulance emergency, what town or suburb? Triple zero calls can be really intense, really stressful, especially because you don't know what's going to come through on the other end of that line. From births to deaths and everything in between, luckily workers like Mel at this triple zero call centre have Solly. He's such a good boy. Trained by guide dogs, this Labrador works full time at the Sydney Control Centre. Got off a call once and um, it was quite a st stressful call and then next thing you know there's this dog brushing against my leg so it's just like, oh, hello. <laughs> call centre operator Chris calls Solly a mobile therapy unit. It makes the dealing with the stressful calls a bit easier in terms of, he just takes your mind off what just happened. People love him so I think it really spreads some positivity and some time away from the busy stresses of life. Fantastic. And if you want to support any of the charities who supply those dogs, the details are on our website.